as I ventured deep into the heart of the mist-shrouded forest, the pale light of the full moon cast an eerie glow on my surroundings. My footsteps echoed through the quiet woods, until something unusual caught my eye. An old, decrepit archway hidden amidst the trees. A strange, irresistible force drew me closer, despite the unease settling in the pit of my stomach. The archway was covered in faded, ornate engravings, and the chill in the air only grew colder as I approached it. With a deep breath, I took that fateful step forward, my curiosity overriding my instincts. Before I knew it, I had passed through the archway, and the world around me transformed. The familiar forest was gone, replaced by another worldly realm of towering, twisted trees, and eerie, glowing flora that illuminated my path. The fear inside me began to mount as I realized I was no longer in the world I knew. Determined but fearful, I continued to venture deeper into this unknown territory. Eventually, I came across a small, dilapidated cottage. Its windows glowed with an unsettling green light, and the air was filled with the haunting sound of whispering voices. Curiosity drove me to enter the cottage, but as I stepped inside, the voices grew louder, distinct, and disconcerting. They were like a chorus of tormented souls. On a rickety wooden table, I found an old, dusty book filled with cryptic symbols and eerie illustrations. As I pored over the pages, the room grew darker and a spectral figure materialized before me, its hollow eyes locking onto mine. Panic coursed through my veins as the ghostly presence extended a shadowy hand toward me. Terrified, I stumbled backward and fled from the cottage. Lost in this surreal, twisted realm, I began to lose all sense of time and hope Sinister, half-human, half-beast creatures lurked in the shadows, their predatory eyes following my every move. Hours felt like an eternity, and I saw no way of ever escaping this nightmarish world. Desperation led me forward until I encountered a massive, ancient tree with gnarled roots forming a gate. A faint whisper in the wind seemed to beckon me to touch it. Fearful but desperate, I reached out, and the moment my hand made contact, the tree seemed to come to life. Its bark contorted into a grotesque face, and the ground beneath me shook as the tree began to open, revealing a path leading into an even darker, more menacing part of the realm. Standing on the precipice of this new, ominous bath, I was left with a haunting question. Was there any way back to my world, or was I forever condemned to wander this eerie, supernatural realm at the mercy of its malevolent forces?